right, we're going to make the second shape on the level two parts designer together. We're going to make the base first and then we will work up from there. So the base we're going to make out of a rectangle. The rectangle should be 72 millimeters long by 35 millimeters wide by how tall? And that measurement is 10. So 72 by 35 by 10. 72, 35, 10. Good. Next, we're going to fillet these corners. What is the radius of that fillet? Well, it doesn't actually tell us, um, and I don't like that, but we can figure it out, right? So when it comes to fillets, the distance between the middle of this round portion and the center point is going to be the same as the distance between just looking at its height on the y-axis, this point right here and the, the base of the object, essentially. So where the tip of my cursor is right now to right here, that distance is the same as the distance between here and the center. So can I figure out the distance between here and here? I can because I know the thickness is 35. So from here to here is 35. 35 minus 23, right, that's right there, gives me 12. So the distance between here and here has to be 12. Therefore, the radius of my fillet has to be 12. So I'm going to drag my fillet that I've already created and saved out here, and I'm gonna scale it down to 12. Then I'm going to align it with the corner of my object, and I'm gonna duplicate it. Control D, I'm gonna select my rectangle and group that together. Then I'm just gonna flip my rectangle around. Group that together. Good. Next, I need to carve out these holes. The diameter of those holes, well, diameter is 12. And for now, we're just gonna worry about the fact that they are 48 millimeters apart measured by their centers. So I'm going to drag a hole out here, crank those sides up to 64. Diameter of, oh, look at that, nailed it. I'm gonna get this guy out of the way. Then I'm going to duplicate this guy. You just send it on over there, it doesn't matter where it's at. And I'm gonna drag my ruler out. I want to align, uh, I messed that up. Um, I wanna line up the center of this guy with my origin. Now, right now, the ruler is measuring, it's in endpoint mode, right? The dimension between the origin and the edge of my object is 15 and it's measuring just to the, to the edge of it, not to the center. How do we make it measure to the center of your object? Well, you click on this thing that says use midpoint. And look at that, the dimension is extending to the center of my object. I'm gonna zero it out. And then uh, I'm also gonna zero out this guy, but just on the Y axis. So you, it lines up perfectly with the axis and I want the distance between the center of my objects to be 48 so my origin is in the center of this guy which means this dimension must be 48 correct yep now we're going to group these holes together and as long as holes are not touching any solid objects uh, they they can be grouped together and, and remain like visible now we need to figure out where these holes go on our object. So we know these holes go 23 millimeters from the back of this non-filleted or straight edge. So let's throw a ruler on our work plane, rotate it so that it is holding. This guy, we're gonna go back to endpoint mode. I wanna make sure this guy is zeroed out on the origin, click zero zero then I want to make sure that the distance between that straight edge and the center of my holes is 23 I'm in I'm in endpoint mode right now so I need to click use midpoint and this should be we said 23 right yep two three good so it's height is is perfect that's what we want you notice it's not centered uh, we can use the alignment tool for that boom beautiful select everything group it boom holes are done Next, we're going to carve out this little step right here. Uh, I just know that this hole is six millimeters off the, the base of my work plane and it goes five millimeters into the object. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a five millimeter wide hole. Doesn't matter about its height. 
um, its length needs to cut through the entire object and then I'm going to raise it six millimeters off my work plane so I'm just going to go up six now I want to make sure uh, this face right here aligns with this face so I'm going to double check that it is with the alignment tool it is so I'm going to group that together good next I'm going to uh, extrude the or make this upright right here this part um, it's going to be a rectangle for now. That rectangle is 60 millimeters off the base of the work plane, not the top of our base, but from the, the bottom of it, from the work plane. And it's 30 millimeters wide. So we need a 60 by 30 by, uh, we'll worry about the thickness in a second. So we need, thir oh, nailed it. 30 by 60 by, how wide should it be? Or what should this distance be? Well, let's figure that out. So I know the the top of it is 13 millimeters wide but it's not 13 millimeters wide throughout its its entirety right it, it gets kind of skinny how skinny should it be well i know the distance between here and here is five the distance between here and here is 13 so what is 13 minus 5 that's eight so this guy should be eight millimeters thick I'm going to center these guys and then I know oh, I just messed up the centered part I know this face right here has to line up with this guy so I'm going to throw a work plane right there click D that didn't work so here's what I'm going to do I know the uh, the width of it is 8 my snap grid is set to 1 millimeter so if I click to the right eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's going to line it up perfectly. We're going to recenter it because I messed that up. And then we're going to group it just to make sure that there's no weird lines and everything is perfect. Good. Now, uh, yeah, I don't need to ungroup that. So now I need to put this cylinder on it. That cylinder is 30 by 13. Uh, so we're going to start by just throwing this guy right here. Crank those sides up to 64. And we said 30 by, in this case, it's height, 13. Good. Now, I'm going to lock this guy in place so it doesn't move on me. And I'm going to align their centers. That didn't work. I'm going to click on the click on the upright. Why is it being like that? It's still being bad. There. I'm going to click on my upper upright then click center um, and I know it's centered now the back of this guy should line up with the back of this guy now I remember that uh, this guy's in this case it's width is eight so I'm going to push this guy back eight clicks of the right key one two three four five six seven eight um, and I can only do that because my snap grid is set to one millimeter now if I were to group this yeah it kind of looks right but there's this weird crease line and I would yell at you if uh, if you submitted that why is that there well that's there because the center of my cylinder is not lined up with the top of my upright so I need to fix that <clears throat> these guys are still separate pieces good so the center of this guy needs to be how tall well Let's look at our sketch the center of that cylinder should be 60 millimeters off of our work plane so I'm going to throw a ruler down on the work plane um, it's already measured measuring midpoint right this green dimension goes to the middle of my cylinder it should be 60 and look at that there's no weird lines it's perfect that's what we want now, I'm actually going to ungroup this and I'm going to lock this guy in place because I need to put a hole in there. Uh, that hole is 12 millimeters in diameter. Take this guy, side 64, 12 diameter, and I'm going to, I'm just going to elongate this quite a bit because I don't feel like messing with a work plane tool. Then I'm going to click on both objects, click align, center, center. Then I'm going to unlock this guy. And if I select these three things and group them together, uh, it's going to cut a hole through everything. 
if I just selected this guy and this guy and grouped it together, uh, you would see the upright in the middle there. So that's why we selected everything. Why did I do that? There. Why? All right, I need to unlock this before I group everything together. Beautiful. All right, let's, uh, while we're at it, let's group that together. Make sure there's no weirdness. Get rid of that multicolor. Let's make it there. Beautiful. Looking good so far. We're almost done. Let's fill it this. Uh, it tells us the radius of that fillet is 15, and that fillet goes on either side of our upright. Drag this guy out, flip it 90 degrees. Uh, I'm actually going to ungroup this, ungroup, and then I want to lock this in place. Uh, before I do that, what was the thickness? It was thickness of 8, so my fillet should be 15 by 15 by, its thickness should be 8. Now I'm gonna throw a work plane right here, click D to bring it up to that work plane. And because this guy is, well actually I didn't need to, I don't think I needed to, I didn't need to ungroup all that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's group all that together. Now I need to throw a work plane right here and drop it to that work plane. And then I need to, Throw a work plane here, click D, and then we're just going to click it on over eight spaces to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should align it perfectly. Uh, let's group it to make sure. And get rid of that multicolor. Beautiful. Look at that. There's no weird lines, no weird creases. I'm actually going to ungroup this, duplicate it. Then I'm going to click out of there, and it should. Oh, look at that. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Um, scratch that. Don't do what I just did. So I still have an extra uh, fillet because I duplicated it. I'm going to send it on over to the right, flip it around. 180 degrees, drop it to that work plane. Let's see if we're lucky enough to get a good fillet right out of the, right out of the box. Yeah, we're good. See, no weirdness. All right, last part is this triangle right here. Um, we need a triangle that is 40 millimeters tall by how wide? Well, distance between here and here is 35. Distance between here and here is 13. So what is 35 minus 13? 35 minus 10 is 25. 25 minus 3 is 22. So it should be a 22 by 40 by how wide? 10. 22 by 40 by 10 millimeter triangle. I already forgot those dimensions. Let's just make it 10 for its width. By 40, because that's on the drawing. And then what did we say? 35 minus 13, we said was 22. All right, this dimension will be 22. All right, we're going to flip it on around 180 degrees. Let's throw a work plane here, drop it on up to that work plane, throw a work plane here, smash it against that face, and then let's align the centers. Let's group it, and boom, we are done.